Hello, this is JJ Squatchman Messenger for the Winston Wild Band Research Organization. Now, I had a uh, very interesting encounter last night with my outreach. Uh, it was not in the typical fashion of the last two encounters. My last two encounters uh, involved the same uh, forest undergrowth. This time it was a different area. Uh, two very distinct knocking sounds came from the forest north of me rather than the south of where I was sitting. And all sorts of uh, noise started occurring up in the branches. At first I, I thought it was squirrels. I figured there were uh, chestnuts or acorns or whatever may be the case. I'm not, I didn't quite identify the trees in the area falling. But upon watching what was occurring, I believe acorns were being thrown. They were being thrown through the branches, knocking various leaves and twigs off, making noise, acorns thrown from the north from the area i heard those two distinct wood knocks now this whole time i'm playing the customary native american flute music in the background and uh i'm doing the conversation and i also left uh, at the gifting site every two weeks i leave uh, a small jar of honey now strangely enough when i first start recording when i start conversing i hear a very high-pitched uh, voice say jeffrey now, uh, I'm known as JJ on these forums, but, you know, most people in my life just call me Jeffrey. My name is, uh, Jeffrey Joseph. Now, actually, only family usually end up saying Jeffrey. It's, it's usually Jeff, you know, Jeffrey being the sound of a, a young child, after all. And, uh, my mother died about nine months ago. I was very close to her and was her caretaker and shared our family home with my mother. It's been very, very quiet with her gone. Very empty. Now, when I hear a high voice say Jeffrey, uh, sometimes I'm wondering, is this, is this a spirit communication? Or is there a high-voiced um, Sasquatch, perhaps, imitating her type of voice? Is there uh, something else going on? I don't know. I truly don't know. Now, as a Christian, I don't believe in necromancy. Necromancy is the act of communication with the spirit world, because I believe that necromancy can open a psychic door to the demonic realm. And inhuman or demonic spirits are very destructive and intrusive, and they will wreak havoc in your life. So, uh, whatever said Jeffrey, I don't know. I, I truly don't know. Was it a Sasquatch uh, imitator? Was it my mother's spirit? Was it... A demonic uh, pretender, I can't say for sure, but um, Jeffrey was said, and uh, there, there's no one in these woods, there are no people in these woods, there are no neighbors nearby, nor would any neighbor refer to me as Jeffrey. It's a mystery where, where this Jeffrey came from, but further along with this uh, odd occurrence with the acorns being thrown through the, the branches as I play the Native American music, I ask if, uh, you know, if they were responsible for doing it, and uh, I ask if they are able or capable of being invisible, and what we would call cloaking. And not long after asking that, a very sharp whack on the very log I was sitting on. Something hit the log about six, seven feet away from where I was sitting, and, and it hit with force. I mean, you can hear on the audio recording the force upon which uh, this, this acorn or whatever... It was hit the log like a, a real speeding projectile. I don't believe it was a threat. I don't believe it was meant to intimidate. I believe it was an interaction, like most of them, like the, the wood knocks and the occasional vocalizations. So, uh, you know, at that point I said, wow, you know, uh, that, 
that that was impressive that that throw and that speed just be sure not to hit me you know i would imagine that would hurt quite a bit but they have never to this point ever threatened me or hit me with anything on occasion they do what i call tossing of pine cones or acorns uh this particular event was a little different they were showing some uh some major league baseball style pitching i mean it was just sharpshooting right there it made me think about if they hunt small animals if they hunt creatures that all they would need is a small rock and an extremely good throw and there you have a rabbit you know you have a squirrel whatever the case may be just an observation there now here is the audio of of what i just described we are encountering forest unknowns which i believe are sasquatch due to their foot impressions which are large and human shaped and due to the branch and stick structures and due to the odd and coarse vocals i believe they are sasquatch they could conceivably be another type of cryptid or unknown creature or they could be totally misinterpreted by me whatever the case may be they are the forest unknowns which i personally am calling sasquatch thank you support my channel and help me get to the truth Hi. I brought honey. Wow. <laughs> Just try not to hit me. <laughs> That's a good shot. Hit that log, you hit that tree perfectly. <laughs> 